the BMW X5 facelift. What have they done on exterior and interior? Different colors, different trims, different engines, all of that. Here on Autogefühl with Thomas in 4K, full screen, full length. Let's go! Most obvious change in the front, the lamps. They have this arrow design now in the daytime running light. These are also the base LED lamps. Option you can also get adaptive LED lamps. They have then blue accentuations at the side and they also replace the laser light because BMW says they have basically now the same performance technology wise. And also the problem was all that the laser light was also restricted in the US for the regulations for the high beam range. Talking about illumination, the front kidney here, the outer frame is the same, but now you can optionally get the iconic glow. That one then is the illumination of the double kidney from the inside when the main headlamp unit is on. And also here, this is the X line with a bright frame. Also in the lower part, the X line now is always standard. So let's say a little bit more standard equipment. If you want a darker or sportier look, then you would go for the M Sport package. And here in the lower part, you can also see a more rectangular look for all X5 models with this element here and also how it's formed right here. And another new special lighting feature is, look at here, the turning indicators or the headlight lights. They not only go like tick tack, tick tack, tick tack, but have this pulsing effect like a heartbeat with this dissolving function. Always here replacing the daytime running lights. The length 4 meters 94 or 194 inches. Base X line here for the X5 means we have the chrome frames around the windows more classic stylish look and then wheels from 19 to 22 inch these here are the 21 inch wheels the plug-in hybrid has a special design feature here at the side you usually also get these crossover wheel arches and in the m sport package they would be in vehicle color and then also with the shadow line in the m sport package you get the blacked out frames around the windows and you can also get black wheel caps and so on for a more sinister look if you like as for suspension you start with adaptive suspension in the m sport pack or the m60i you get the adaptive m suspension so a sport a stiffer setup and then optional the air suspension or if you have this plug-in hybrid here then the air suspension is standard very beautiful by the way that you also see the light signature from the side profile both from the front and also here the small design element in the rear. You can also get a rear axle steering by the way. So then the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction than the front wheels, giving you a better turning circle and so on. Here this new facelift design for the rear, changed tail lamps and you can see here left and right they form an X. Very interesting and also when you look at them individually a more sculptural style so to speak. When you hit the turning indicators, then you also have this pulse effect here also for the rear lens. On the left side, by the way, you can see a little bit of the turning indicator. This here just as a pre-production model will of course be gone here for the customer vehicles. This one being the plug-in hybrid and the X-Line. X-Line baseline means also this contrasting part in the lower part. You always have that with every model from standard. In the M Sport package, you will then get a sportier look and here, Mm, is this a case for the other group of fake exhaust police? Vote in the comments. Here our Nardo Grey vehicle, very interesting. Also you can see the daytime running light here in the facelift. Then M Sport Packet Pro means the dark frame around the double kidney and shiny on the inside. And then we have here in the lower part the performance parts with some additional carbon fiber. Is it over the top or not? Vote in the comments. And here you can also see that these air breathers at the sides have a real function. Here you can see the air does go through. And here in the side profile we can see in the M Sport Pack you have the wheel arches in the color of the vehicle color. It's actually a very elegant solution definitely. Here with the 22 inch wheels, the biggest ones that are available. And then M Sport Packet also adds here the black frames around the windows. It's always that the M Sport Pack is combined with the high gloss shadow line and the M Sport Packet Pro is the extended shadow line with even more black accentuations like we've seen with the front double kidney. That's the new logic there. And here, by the way, this is the place where all the car deliveries take place in BMW Welt in Munich. So when you catch your vehicle right here, you can basically take a first spin here on the inside of this huge building. And yeah, you also see already some amazing cars waiting for the customers in the background.
And here you can see the neighborhood of our shooting location. This is the famous BMW 4 cylinder and of course located in Munich next to the BMW Museum, which is this building. Car key, slim and light, and the key fob with M colors. You also get the M Sport package then. And the door closing sound. Super solid, lovely sound. Also very nice here from the gaps, the so-called Spaltmaße in German. Listen and repeat. Spaltmaße. Inside of the door, also with the bright styling available. Pretty cool. And then you already see right here, this will receive a curved screen now behind that steering wheel. Zoom more deals to that. Here the seats already a couple of months before the facelift. Standard is now Sensor Fin. That's a new material here. It's animal free. A further development of Sensor Tech. And you look at that. Has a perforation. Looks really high quality. And also is tested for long term durability. And you can see the new Sensor Fin seats are also available in black if you prefer more subtle or darker styling. Same structure, same ergonomics, just the darker color also looks cool. So on a factual side, you avoid 85% of CO2e emissions by ditching animal skin from the interior. And here, there's no disadvantage at all. They are really breathable, they have the perforation. You can also get them in combination with seat ventilation additionally. And they are super comfortable, very soft material. And as I said, they have these testing facilities here in Munich also where they test on the very same durability than other more traditional seat materials. And yeah, it's a very good seating comfort, upright seating position, command driving in the X5. And you also have enough headroom with 189 or 6 for 2. This one here equipped with the panoramic roof. You can also open it and it has this nice illumination also. Driver POV, this is the normal steering wheel, so not the M Sport steering wheel. And on the sides each, you still have real buttons. So here on the right side, also still for the volume control. And then there's this new curved screen, left side 12.3, right side 14.9. Let's take a closer look. Also, the screen quality looks fancy, but then, wait a minute, where's the AC unit? Yeah, like in the BMW X7 here. It goes now into the screen. Here, this is how you control the AC unit now, at least it's always staying in the same place. In the infotainment system, I really like this 3D view here with the Blue Ridge Mountain color. Blue Ridge Mountain, three-dimensional view. <laughs> so. Here, yeah, you can actually zoom in that one. Look at that. Here yeah, also with the new headlights. Wow, this is also a great resolution. Hmm, I think the kids will do that all day, right? <laughs> then, let's take a look at this, the main menu. You can also have this main menu, but you really have to search for yourself which apps do you really need because it might be a little bit overload. However, then the Apple CarPlay integration, quicker and more reliable also in this wireless way. Same goes to Android Auto. And here, by the way, we have the Harman Kardon system, the sound system. And I also like the sound. I think it always fits to the BMWs. The Harman Kardon sound system are, let's say, bass intensive. So are really good for electronic music, I find. Oh, by the way, here, it even shows when you activate the turning indicators. Nice. And what about the voice control? Hey BMW, drive me to Munich. I am in Munich, obviously. Just a moment. I and am see what the results for you. Yeah, that's I working. <laughs> in the digital instruments, you can see the car internal map. But when I activate Apple Maps in CarPlay, you see it immediately switches then to this map view. Also full screen, really cool indeed. This is now possible with BMW OS 8. We also have different contents in there. Of course, this map view is really useful with Google Maps. It works with Android Auto, but only these two combinations. So Android Auto, Google Maps, and Apple CarPlay, Apple Maps. And for the head-up display, you can also switch through different views. Yeah, people watching all the fancy BMW cars here at BMW Welt in Munich. New illuminated panel right here, X5, and it also changes then in the ambient lighting. Here we go. It looks quite fancy, doesn't it? However, we still have a manual volume jog. You look at this detail, nice mesh structure in this middle part of the front dashboard. And it is also featuring this new air vent control. 
that way you close or open it and then it has this kind of floating control. This is here today a real wood decor. You can get different decor elements and underneath you can see here also illumination. You can also get here these heated, oh, and cooled cup holders. This is heating of course, the blue is the cooling. And I would have wished that the inductive charging pad is now ventilated like a new BMW models, but they didn't do that. Really nice by the way how the ambient lighting is continued here in the middle console. I like that I'm still able here to use this iDrive controller to control the infotainment system. And this is also an optional package here with a crystalline look both here for the shifting lever and also for the iDrive controller. You can see it here on the inside details. And if you ask yourself, does that blind you sometimes? This is your answer. Rear seating, also great comfort for rear passengers. Also enough headroom with my size at least. Nice panoramic roof. Legroom, it works for four and five tall adults. That's no problem actually, but not abundance of space actually. And you cannot adjust the rear back part as for the angle in this vehicle here. This is by the way for rear seat entertainment that you can have an iPad holder attached or something. The middle seating here is quite okay. It's spacious enough, just a little bit harder. And once again, the build quality of the seat material here is superb indeed. The X5 gets this typical split opening and I always call it picnic hatch because it's a really cool function, maybe like on a summer road trip when you sit down here and yeah, just next to each other and enjoy the sunset or whatever. And the width here is pretty impressive. It's actually more than a meter, one meter is 10 or 44 inches, pretty usable. The length here a little bit less than a meter or 40 inches. The usual capacity is 650 liters. Here the plug-in hybrid gets only 500 liters, but that's not because it's different in height. The height here is actually very good for the X5 and that is here at about 76 centimeters or 30 inches. It's just that below you have a little bit less space, but still some space for a charging cable. One thing that is missing now since a couple of months, even before the facelift, you cannot fold the seats from here. You have to grab over them like this or go around. Then they fold flat very nicely. However, it has been to do with some supply chain problems. We know this topic, but then they didn't find another new supplier and then say like, ah, okay, we just cancel this option. I think that's a little bit lazy for a car that is so high in the price. And the total length you get then is here about 1 meter 70 or 68 inches. And here we have now a vehicle, different interior with an M Performance part steering wheel, Alcantara left and right, looks cool and also better grip. Engines, 40i, the pure petrol engine, 3 liter inline 6 cylinder, 5.4 seconds is the acceleration figure, 380 horsepower. The 50e, the plug-in hybrid, we had this one with the Blue Ridge Mountain vehicle, that one is a little bit quicker actually, less than 5 seconds in the acceleration, 26 kilowatt hours battery for the capacity and you can go more than 100 kilometers or 60 miles pure electric with that one. Then also a 3 in 9 6 in diesel is available. And then there is the M60i model, same for the X5 and also here, for example, for an X6. Then you also have a special new front double kidney in the former M competition style. That one then at 4.3 seconds in the acceleration figure from that 4.4 liter V8 or with even quicker acceleration at 6 or 25 horsepower in the true M model. So what do you think about these facelift changes? Let's discuss in the comments. Yeah, we lose the manual AC control, but we gain a newer tech software-wise and also this more modern screen and so on. So it's definitely pro and con, but I think overall the facelift works very well. Visually, I think exterior, pre-facelift and post-facelift, they both actually look good. And it's definitely one of the top vehicles here in this segment. With the BMW X7, by the way, we also had a great vehicle color in the matte gray. That was pretty cool with the facelift video or the SUV Coupe brother of this one here, the X6, also receives the facelift. Tune in right now.